On this episode of Crypto Moose, we're going to go over my top five crypto investing mistakes. We'll see you there. In this video, we will go over my top five crypto investing mistakes. Number one is buying high and selling low. While this may seem obvious, it happens all the time again and again. It's simple. Emotions drive markets and people feel more confident when everything is going well. What I like to do is buy consistently and buy even more when we go low. If you can develop a habit to buy consistently, then you will win in the long run. Time in the market is more important than trying to time the market. Think long term. This will help you. If you're trying to make a quick buck, perhaps this is the wrong investment for you. Ask yourself, will this project be worth more, create or add more value two, four, eight years from today? Sometimes boring is good. Two, blindly investing. I know I say this all the time, but research. So at least research and identify the weak points if there are any and you should die by your own sword, not someone else's. Do not dabble into everything. Make sure that it feels right. I always trust myself. This has served me well. Personally, what I like to do is go out on walks. This will help me get into a clear mindset with very little distractions. You should also never make a serious decision before investing when you're tired, angry, or hungry. That being said, the time is now. Do the research and question everything. Three, listening to broke people or friends or family. I get it. You may have a friend or family member that asks you to get into something. However, if it doesn't align with what you believe deep down, don't do it. It's okay. I know firsthand it can be hard to say no because a lot of times we want to help people out. One phrase I use all the time is I can't right now, but if something changes, I'll let you know. This is a great way to say no without using the word. We all want to help out others and deep down saying no can be difficult for some of us. Make sure you are honest and don't feel like you're putting too much weight on your back. Four, never buying, just waiting too long. I'll do it later or next time. Does that sound familiar? So what about this one? When I have more money, I will do it. This is how you end up never, ever, ever investing. This is a huge mistake. Just like I said before, you need to build a habit. Personally, at the beginning of every month, typically after I receive an online payment, I will put $250 towards crypto. I have built that habit over four years. I used to only feel like I should invest when I could save a thousand bucks. That's a mistake, especially if you're not making a lot. Even if it's $2 or $5 every month, put a little bit aside and begin to build that habit. One question to ask yourself is, what if I never invest? What then? Five, winging it. You have to get organized. We show you in this course how to use a calendar. If this has been an issue for you, then you should fix this. You could even just start out with pen and paper. You need to get organized. You need to set a target. Perhaps you want to save $50 and buy some Bitcoin. What you can do is break it down into baby steps. This is the best way. I do this every day with my goals, whenever I'm producing videos for my other businesses. I use this all the time. Imagine attempting to produce this an entire online course that includes a 60 page workbook and over 70 videos that have to be edited. I use a script and a daily to do list that sits right in front of me and this has been invaluable. Schedule a night and write down on a piece of paper your 2023 or whatever year it is blueprint. This system has been invaluable to my business and in my personal life. Schedule a night in your calendar right now. Write down in the calendar this year's blueprint. Do this late at night when it's quiet and your phone is turned off and there are zero distractions. Write down all of your goals. Write down a list of everything you've been thinking about. Your life goals, crypto investing, especially, and perhaps NFTs. Once this is complete, you can now wake up every day with a specific goal in mind. You now have a target. Make sure it's something meaningful to you. Using this list, you can now take daily steps to accomplish those goals. What I do every day is I write down 
five to 10 things that I can do to get closer to those goals. You will get better over time. What gets measured gets accomplished. It's the only way. Six, moon coins. Simply say no for the most part. I'm not saying that you shouldn't get into any moon coins or low cap altcoins. Just understand that there's a lot of risk involved. Crypto and NFTs are already as risky as it gets. We are still in the early days. As a rule of thumb, I put 80 to 90% of my portfolio into the best, most proven cryptos like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, those type of projects. That leaves you with about five to 20% to put into the altcoin slash gambling coins. One bonus tip is to make sure to diversify enough. I know it's important not to over diversify, then you're stretching your dollar too thin. If you don't diversify enough, then what can happen is if all the projects fail, the one to three or one to five that you have, then you lose all your money. I hope you enjoyed this video. We have officially launched our crypto and NFT masterclass three in one course. Right now, if you go in the description below, you can get yourself up to 90% off that online course. In there, you will go from beginner to pro with everything crypto and NFT. So we will see you in the next one.